10 minute time limit. Introducing from parts unknown, weighing 245 pounds, the grappler number two. And his manager, none other than Don Carson. Don Carson in the opposite corner at the weight of 225 pounds from Charlotte, North Carolina, Rick Quickdraw McGraw. Well, the introductions by Sam Manneker, and now we're ready to go with grappler number two. And, of course, the fabulous Don Carson brought him into the ring against Rick Quickdraw McGraw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just joining us earlier today here on Southwest Championship Wrestling, Bob Sweetan finally got Tully Blanchard's name on a contract. Blanchard didn't read it, and it stated it would be a cage match for the Southwest Championship Wrestling. $5,000, winners take all. And Bob Sweetan has said that if he does not defeat Tully Blanchard in that match, He'll leave the state of Texas. You know, that's a strong statement, Stan. You know, I have every confidence in Bob Street's hand, especially the fact that people sent him money and kids took money out of their allowances to help out. He doesn't want to let the fans down, but that is a strong statement because anything can happen in the match. And uh, Blanchard has defeated Street's hand from time to time, so he's taking an awful chance. But He's so confident in the way. I don't know whether Blanchard will ever get over that uh, nervous frustration that he has. Well, he better be thinking about something else uh, rather than worrying about that now. Because if he does that the way he went in there against Scott Casey today, you can bet that uh, it won't be much of a contest. But I know Tully Blanchard. He'll come back. Well, grappler number two bells out of the ring. Carson calls him over. Has a little talk with him. Yeah. You know that Don Carson is an, uh, is, uh, he's obnoxious, there's no doubt about it. He, he's full of egotistical verbosity, but he has managed top people. He has the champions right now. He sure does. Southwest Tag Team Champions, this is one of them. McGraw, Rick, quick draw, McGraw. <laughs> Referee Jack out. Make sure that everything's okay. Side headlock by McGraw. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you as we watch this move right here, if Southwest Championship Wrestling comes live to your town, no matter where you are, be sure you take out the whole family and enjoy a great night with the professionals from Southwest Championship Wrestling. We're coming your way all over the United States. Over the top goes McGraw. Oh, he got him that time. That grappler, that's one thing about Carson. He keeps them in tip-top shape. They're ready to go against anybody. They certainly are in good shape, but so is this uh, quick draw McGraw. McGraw. Oh, throw it across the top rope as grappler number two picked him up, dropped him across, and you can see how quickly the grapplers can turn things their way. They certainly can. Quick thinking and their quick reflexes. You know, many of these rough wrestlers well, uh oh, that clothesline, man, right in the throat. Oh, he drops across him. It looks like everything is his way right now, but quick draw. Oh, that's a cowardly thing. He had the man pinned and he pulled him up by the hair so he can inflict more punishment on him. The sadistic drive to victory, if it is, will be, if it will be a victory. Rapper trying to pick him up. Oh, he just throws him down. McGraw's taking a lot of punishment there. There's an elbow drop to the back of the head. And now, the grappler rips him up by the hair. Broke the hold, the referee told him to break, but he covered him up real quick. He's in front, I don't know, the way McGraw's moving around, maybe a choke hold underneath there. Uh, it would appear that way, but one thing about Jack Howe, he's watching it very closely underneath it. You know, Jack Howe is one of the finest referees in professional wrestling today, and we're glad to have him here on Southwest Championship Wrestling. He certainly moves around very well. Incidentally, I noticed all during the match that Carson is, does things to harass the opponent. Yeah, he tries, he yells at the opponent, he yells at the referee, distracts, whatever he can do to keep things going in the favor of his men. And this grappler number two still covering up Rick McGraw. Another tremendous crowd on hand for Southwest Championship Wrestling tonight. Uh, I, I believe he might be just 
getting that forearm up on the throat a little bit here. It certainly seems that way to me. I've been in this position many times. I've been caught in a hole like this in the years that I wrestled. It always winds up as a stranglehold or a chokehold, and it's almost impossible for the referee to see through the man's shoulders. I'm sure, I'm sure that it's a chokehold of some kind. But one thing about Jack Howe, as you pointed out, he moves around very quickly, watches it very much. Uh, of course, the grappler, when he sees Jack Howe down there watching, he'll release that. He'll move the, move the arm up the chin. Grappler holding on to Rick. Quick draw on the draw. I'd like to say, Steve, it's a, it's a pleasure to be with Southwest Championship Wrestling and to work with you. You're well, great. Thank you, Sam. I've heard about you for many years and heard a lot of good things about you and never had met you until last night, and it's a pleasure, and I look forward to many years working together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Steve. You've been in the business, they tell me, about 40 years. Yeah, I started when I was eight years old, you know. I don't look my age. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I won't tell everybody how old you are, Sam. That exchange blows. There's the grappler. That was McGraw holding the throat, so it either got him in the throat or it was very close. Carson over there yelling at McGraw now. There's the grappler over. Has his throat across that bottom rope. Carson says, go on, get in there. He, say, he smells victory here. There it is again. The front headlock. Wearing the man down, there's no doubt about it. Had to take it out of you in a hurry. Rapper covering him up again now. I, I still believe he's trying to do a little choking, but you see the miniature referee drops down there, then he moves that arm slightly. Now, I'm just guessing. But you see the grappler rearing back, getting another fight, getting more pressure, applying all the pressure he can to Rick. Quick draw on McGraw. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you, you're watching Southwest Championship Wrestling from the junction in San Antonio, Texas. The grappler holding on to Rick. Quick draw on McGraw. You know, uh, in many of the cities where Southwest Championship Wrestling is seen on TV, it's more or less a new era in wrestling because some of these wrestlers have not been seen there. And as you pointed out, all these wrestlers will be coming to the cities where the TV appears. Sooner or later, we hope to come your way. Rapper holding on. Carson still outside the ring. He hangs on to that hold with bulldog tenacity. He's not going to let it go. But look at, look at McGraw. He's got a, a wrist. He's broken it up to some extent. Oh, what a terrific display of strength. He's got him up in an airplane position. Spent, oh, he, terrific. Dropped him across that top rope. So McGraw comes up with a drop kick. Another drop kick. Beautiful moves by Rick Rob McGraw. Elbow knocks the grappler back into the corner. McGraw grabs him, whips him into the turnbuckle, catches him out, he's got him up on the shoulder. McGraw drops back with him. Comes the cat. Oh, he doesn't pin him. He's going after the mask. He's going after the mask. You know, I always wonder who's underneath there and why they hide underneath that mask. And here, Rick McGraw makes show it to us. Carson is up on the apron. McGraw goes after them. McGraw trying to pull Carson into the ring. Oh, the grappler comes over. McGraw ducks down, two, three. And Carson beats himself. Carson beats himself as he was 